Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is the beginning of a new series offered by Rashidun. In this series, we delve into wise writings from the early Muslim scholars. We try to derive practical lessons for life and deeper insights. Hopefully, this will enrich our experience in this life and will help us on our path to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We start with the book by Ibn Hazm, rahimahullah ta'ala, Al-Akhlaqu wa Seer, which is manners and behavior. Let's first listen to Ibn Hazm as he introduces his book with very short commentary, inshallah. Chapter 1, Introduction. In the name of Allah, the most merciful, the clement. O Allah, I implore your assistance. O Allah, bless Muhammad and his family and grant them peace. Abu Muhammad Ali ibn Ahmad ibn Sa'id ibn Hazm al-Andalusi radiyallahu anhu has said, Praise be to Allah for his great gifts. May Allah bless our master Muhammad, his servant, the seal of his prophets and messengers. May he grant them eternal blessings. I rely on him for any ability and strength I may have. And I seek his aid and protection against all the various terrors and ills of this world. And may he deliver me from all horror and suffering in the next world. Now, I have gathered together in this book numerous ideas which Allah, the provider of intellect, has enabled me to profit from as day succeeded day and year succeeded year. And circumstances altered permitting me to understand the vicissitudes of fate and to control its fluctuations, to the extent that I have devoted a larger part of my life to it. I have chosen to master these problems by study and contemplation, rather than throw myself into the various sensual pleasures which attract most souls on this earth. And rather than amass unnecessary wealth, I have gathered together all my observations into this book, in the hope that the Almighty may allow it to benefit whichever of his servants he wishes, who has access to and is capable of understanding my book. In the matters over which I have slaved, devoting all my efforts to them and reflecting at length upon them, I hope that it will be well received and I present it with good intentions and blessings with a good heart. This book will benefit a person more than financial treasures and possessions of property if he meditates upon it and if Allah enables him to make good use of it. As for myself, my hope in this enterprise is to win the greatest reward from Allah. Since my intention is to help his servants to remedy whatever is corrupt in their character and to heal the sickness of their souls, I beseech the assistance of Allah Almighty. We wish only for Allah, the best of defenders. So Ibn Hazm here is introducing his great book and he's emphasizing the importance of that. He's saying this is the gist of my life. This is what I have, you know, worked all my life to learn this is the cream of the crop that I'm presenting to you in this book so that it may really guide you in this life and may help you improve your character. So apparently he really, you know, had high hopes about this book to be beneficial and helpful. 